am I to offer him counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this? <laughs> I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Neatho. I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. We are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Come. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are. Wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How oh, I may find my son. <coughs> Don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants, Fay herself, had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That which was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it burns me. But maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to this part since our great battle with Seekrim. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. 
She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I was. The Valkyrie Queen. Ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal. Why? Clever. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the world. The Norns live in the well. No. The well of Earth, their homes. Hard to explain. The wolves lead us here. Yes, the, the ominous sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. <laughs> Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. As I was saying, the Norn's home is called the Well of Earth. 
It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Hold that thought. I think it's about to get violent. War Dragon is crawling out of the bloody ground. for the death of her family, and has been haphazardly wreaking her vengeance on anything within arm's reach. Even death didn't stop her. I know. When you enter the Norn's domain, it can be disoriented. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Mimir, have you in touch with the Norns? Not personally. Mimir's right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Fair. You mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the norms last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. 
which only made me more determined to try. This is the area. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing. Another dead end. A trap. You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. Up another trail. He's following the their heads. Land, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. But the part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It's strange credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threats of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. I can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. Oh, got time to chat?
We need to work our way up. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the Norns making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. I didn't tell them to be here. Not me, Go away, brother! all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Oh, my God. 
This way. Okay. I feel something. It's stronger this time. Over here. No. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Yeah. Ah! Certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> seems he was guarding that way outside. Confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. <laughs>
of the ace. Ah, here we go. Counselor to Kings. Merry Wanderer of the Woods. Robin of the Good Times. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. No. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. Oh! 
This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. <laughs> that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you battle when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. Hey, how very dare you? Babbling. To me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! I am so sick of your Any way I could. You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree. You sought our favor. You watched his wars. You watched him destroy everyone and everything. And you never gave my death until he turned on. I know, Secret. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man, a counselor of the beast, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in your suffering? To Scott? To Groa? Or to Tanya? No! You are to the side of the powerful death! No! Brother, watch out! There's more of them! You see a fireman gun in me, and you can't help but go to and make your And it's who? Oh, no. 
It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the thing! Let's pull him, the end! Come here! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Get hold of me! Why would you see him the way he wants to be seen? <laughs> didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us see. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, 
He fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There must, must be a way, way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait, that tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with, as part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... ...will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> Uh, 
Kratos, I see something. I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe- The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. And we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. <laughs>